Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you guys are doing well today. We're going to be talking about Swiss watch exports. We're a little late with this um, article and our video uh, where we discuss the Swiss watch exports for the month of March. We've covered every month for the past couple or over a year. Um, and so we're going to be talking about um, how Swiss watch export did in March. If you think back to 2020 of March, a lot happened. Um, so uh, you can imagine that these are going to be some fairly, uh, definitely a, a very interesting report. Just to look back at the month of February, just to cast your memory back, uh, Swiss watch exports year over year for the month of February 2021 were basically unchanged. They were down about negative 0.3%. Um, so uh, fairly similar to 2020 results. Um, and um, it was a similar story where basically a lot of the leading economies like the United States um, and China were kind of the top of the list when it came to the variance between 2020 and 2021. It was interesting to see that February of 2020, um, excuse me, February of 2021, there wasn't too much change. Um, it actually um, kind of reassures you that the global economies are kind of coming on, coming back and and growing at a, at, a, at a decent pace and kind of recovering from the pandemic. But we are here to talk about the month of March and boy, was I wrong with my predictions. Uh, I predicted a growth of about 6% um, for the month of March. I took into consideration that there's gonna be a negative base bias <clears throat> um, compared to last year. Obviously the pandemic sort of started in March and so I was expecting Swiss watch ex exports to grow, but um, they grew all right. I, I didn't. I guess I didn't really take into account how deep of a negative basis was going to be. Um, Swiss watch exports grew by 37.2 percent year over year. Um, <clears throat> that's uh, fairly fairly incredible. Um, the 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 growth was obviously from wristwatches and other products. Um, exports uh, totaled one little shy of 1.9 billion Swiss francs. What was interesting is they also released uh, information about the first, first, first quarter growth. Uh, first quarter growth um, grew by 6.6 .6 compared to 2020 and a decline of about 1.3 compared to 2019. This is um, pretty cool. It means we're, you know, Swiss watch exports are recovering like other global economies. And I think that's, that's positive news for, for Swiss watch companies. If we look at the 12 month moving average, we're moving we're slowly moving back up to that zero uh, percent mark. Um, we're, we, we're around negative t uh, 19 percent for the 12 month moving average, which is exciting. I hope that we can get into some positive growth numbers for Swiss watch exports very soon. Um, but the last 12 months have really been a negative, uh, negative look here. If we um, continue on to wristwatches by material um, across the board, you're, you're going to see positive numbers here. Um, so there really, really isn't much uh, to say when it comes to, to that. I think I, I do want to call out that other metals have grown um, almost by 100%. I thought that was quite, um, quite interesting. Uh, maybe there's some more interest in different types of case metals. Uh, and um, you can see that in the uh, change in units sold and uh, change in um, millions of Swiss francs uh, sold. Both of them are, have um, higher growth than some of the other categories. Again, this could just be a negative base bias, um, but um, I thought that was that was quite interesting. Steel uh, watches continue to have really great numbers. Um, you know, 784,000 um, units and uh, about uh, 691 million Swiss francs. So um, steel's here to stay. <laughs> Moving on to uh, wristwatches by price category, same story that we looked at by by uh, materials. You can see every price category up. The most significant one up was 500 to 3,000 Swiss francs. I think this is a fairly fairly good sweet spot for a lot of uh, consumers who are looking to purchase watches. Um, but again, uh, you know, negative base bias here, so positive numbers are great. But we can look at units and value. Um, so units actually were up by 33.7% value up by 37%. The next kind of section I, I think is going to be very interesting is when we look at the main markets. So um, main markets for the month of March were China, the US, Hong Kong, Japan, Singapore, and the United Kingdom. Um, looking at China, we see a staggering over 100% growth. Um, I think obviously China was fairly uh, was hit earlier on um, than other um, economies. However, being up 100% is, is fairly incredible. Uh, I don't think this is just uh, f 
you know, results of, of a negative base bias resulting from the pandemic. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that China continues to be an extremely important market for Swiss watch exports. The US, on the other hand, was only up by about 13%. So I actually think that might have something to do with a softness in the United States um, in, in, in watch, um, watch interest. Um, <clears throat> very, very interestingly, if you look at the, the main markets, Japan was actually down by 11%. Um, out of the top 30, um, the 30 uh, largest uh, markets for, for Swiss watches, they were the only one that had a negative variance between 2020 and 2021. Um, very interesting and in, interesting results. Um, I don't really know why this is. If you know, uh, put leave a comment because I would love to hear your thoughts on what exactly is up with that. Because if you look at other economies, you got 100% in China, up 13% in the U.S. United Kingdom was basically unchanged. Um, you know, com com uh, countries like Italy up 113%. They were hit pretty hard by the pandemic. Saudi Arabia up 130%, um, and you can see triple digit and double digit uh, figures as you move down this. Um, move down the list. I guess the, the more um, interesting numbers were going to come in that 2019-2021 variance because obviously you kind of have to remove the fact that 2020 was a, pan a year of a pandemic. And you do see some more negatives come, come through here. You can see obviously China 120% growth, which like I said, just continues to show the, 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 um, the resilience of the, the Chinese watch market. But then, you know, Hong Kong, Japan, United Kingdom, UAE, Germany, France, Italy, South Korea, all of those co co uh, countries in the top 12, 15 um, markets were down uh, comparatively. And I think that has to do with the slow recovery that a lot of these com uh, countries are seeing due to the pandemic. The last thing I like to look at is just by regions. Asia, again, took up most of the... Um, most of the variance, uh, excuse me, most of the total share of the watch market, 56%, Europe coming in second with the Americas following in third. Um, variances are kind of laughable, Oceania up 100%, obviously, um, Europe up 45%, Asia 41%, America, the Americas down uh, up uh, 16%. Um, Africa was the one that had, had um, negative, um, negative variance between 2020 and 2021. This would make sense. Um, African economies obviously are slower to to recover. Um, obviously, I think that's the wrong wrong word to choose. I think you know African economies have to come back somehow, um, and they do it at a different pace than other other economies. And so negative negative results there for them. As I move on to kind of April April's results, I think the vaccines are obviously going to have a huge impact into um, how well uh, watches will, will sell in the, in, the, in the month of April. I know we're already in May, but um, I think vaccines had a really good impact on, on, on opening up economies, obviously some better than others, um, but I think you're gonna see very similar results, especially because I think April was, I think the worst year, uh, worst month, excuse me, um, or maybe uh, May was the worst month, um, but, Regardless, I think you're probably going to see something similar. I'm going to guess about 35% growth, um, and again, because of that, 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 that negative base. Let me know what you think is going to happen for the month of April. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't seen some of our other videos where we discuss the Swiss watch exports, uh, be sure to check out our playlist, but you're probably going to see some um, one of our videos in the suggested um, video section of, of whatever you're on right now, whatever device you're, you're, you're watching this on, so you can check those out. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like these types of videos. And if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button for us for the YouTube algorithm so that this can get to more watch enthusiasts who'd be interested in hearing about uh, Swiss watch exports and watch content in general. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time.